Ah, yes, the works. No, this is not an eating establishment where one orders something with the works on it. No, this is a request in order to know in detail what one is to be actively engaged in. It is not the honey-do list. It is the do list that is sought after here by those who ask the question of Jesus. I have to confess that at the beginning of the week I make a list of things that I desire to accomplish and on that list some things are of greater priority than others. But at least I have done on paper and can refer to it and as those things get done I can cross them off. Some weeks are better than others and as long as I am making confession I will say that those weeks where most, if not all, get crossed off, I find I am pretty pleased with myself for having done all those things. As this question of the works, or what works relates to Christianity in general, the list of works is easily answered, isn't it? Just turn to the Ten Commandments and you will find that wonderful list of to-do. Well, at least the Fourth through the Eighth Commandments. There is that tendency to omit the first three because, after all, God really doesn't know what he is talking about and as long as one says, Praise the Lord and Hallelujah and Amen and does so with loud voice, those first three commandments are taken off the board. Then again, we respect those in authority only when they agree with us. And we can harm our neighbor as long as it isn't out and out murder. And we can commit adultery since we aren't really hurting anyone. And we can say that we, we can say what we want about anyone We'll let the seventh don't steal stand. Yeah. Now, what other works can we do to make ourselves look religious without really being such? We like the lists as long as they do not interfere with what we want. 